I'm Cheryl, and I'm here with Romeo. That's a really nice name, by the way. Most of the girls, I'm sure, go crazy about that one. And we're here at Black Sheep Bistro on the island. I've heard quite a bit of great stories about this place. I have eaten here once, way back, I mean, when you guys first opened, which has been, what, four three, years? It's coming on three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. And give me a little information on this place. I know the menu is always changing. There's just different varieties for everybody. So mm -hmm. I'm Well, I mean, I, I feel like we're probably the best restaurant here in town right now, we've got uh, a lot of uh, great menu items. We do a lot of steaks, pasta. Uh, we have a great wine list, I think. Well, it took a while to put it all together, but uh, we've got a lot of wines to choose from with uh, really aggressive pricing on them too. So people feel happy about uh, buying a bottle and steaks. And, and do you often recommend like pairing? Pairing's kind of like the big thing now. Yeah, is pairing. We, We've been, uh, the chef and I, we've got a new chef. We picked him up from uh, Republic of Texas. His name is Jeff Savigny. And uh, we've been working together to pair specials together. Like tonight, we've got a great steak special with the Bordelais. And so we paired it up with this uh, Shiraz Cabernet. Nice. That's little hell bent. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good pairing. We like the, the flavor combo. And so we try to do that as much as we can. You know, some, some things are hard to pair, but. And I guess with your specials, do you have certain nights that you do something so if our audience said okay I'm really in the mood for shrimp or steak or do yeah. you have different nights for those specials? Well not or? specifically but we're getting a lot of fresh fish in now so we'll be seeing a lot more of that. We're getting all of our, our fish coming in never frozen all fresh and then on Thursday nights we in our sister restaurant at the uh, barrel we do sushi. Mm. So we've got a great uh, sushi chef in there and uh, really really going well. That must be nice because you guys are the only sushi place on the island. I think so. We're the best. There's other people offering some sushi but it doesn't not compare to what we're offering. Not even close. And you guys have expanded so tell me obviously you said your sister restaurant you've got a nice little outdoor area. Yeah, the, the patio I mean the weather's coming on for that right now. Yes. South Texas weather is going to be turning good for you know a few weeks <laughs> and the patio is just great out there when the weather's good, you can relax out there. And it's a lot quieter than say it. Friday night inside the restaurant, it's packed, it's loud. Patio, a little more quiet and calm, and nice for dinner. Okay, and your sister restaurant is called? It's called The Barrel. And I saw on there that it says wine and tapas. Wine and is that tapas, right? yeah. What is tapas for? Well, tapas are a traditional Spanish uh, hors d'oeuvres, uh, little appetizers. So we're doing some of the traditional tapas, like uh, meatballs and empanadas. Oh, okay. And then we're doing, you know, some more you know, continental style stuff. So we're adding different things to the menu and we're just slowly building out that menu, keeping some traditional stuff and then more stuff kind of tailored to South Texas and, you know, people here. And I've heard, okay, this is more of like a lunch and dinner place. Do you do breakfast? Because I've heard a little secret that there is a breakfast. Yeah. We do brunch on Sundays and it's become very popular. I mean, it's uh, it's all to order, so it's not a buffet, anything like that. So you just order and everything's made fresh to order. And that comes with champagne? It does. come with champagne and uh, it goes from 11 to 2 on Sundays. It's been pretty popular. All right. We're packing them in. Hi guys, I'm here with Jeff. It's a big me. Savigny and he is the chef here at the Black Sheep Bistro. Jeff, tell me your favorite dish to make, the one everybody orders. Uh, the Little Joe. The there, Little Joe? That seems to be the most popular dish since I've uh, started working here. And what is the Little Joe? The Little Joe is an eight ounce filet that is served with uh, dauphinois potatoes and uh, sauteed veggies and it's topped with caramelized onions, uh, gorgonzola cheese, and uh, it's basically a compound butter. It also has a little bit of parsley in it, salt and pepper. So um, it's very popular. That was one of the dishes that when I first joined was like, you can't touch that. That has to stay on the menu. So, and, and I'm very fond of it as well. I wouldn't, wouldn't do anything to it either, so. Okay, and so your signature dish, though, that's something that you're gonna bring to Black Sheep, what would you? Uh, I have a lot. Yeah. I, I can't really uh, 
say there's one particular dish. Are that, you mainly steak? Or I mean, obviously no, you do it I go, all. What's your favorite thing to cook? Everything. I don't really have uh, one specific thing. Um, I like to do everything from fresh seafood, you know, uh, from Asian to Creole cooking to, you know, classic uh, Mexican food. So I can pretty much do it all. So I really don't have one specific. I'm here with the beautiful Angela <laughs> over at The Barrel, which is the sister restaurant of the Black Sheep Bistro. Angela, give me a little input on this bar scene. I mean, this is really cozy and family-like. Well, uh, we, what can I say, we try to make everybody happy, uh, talk to everybody, and treat everybody like a family, and make sure the customers are happy, relaxed, and it's not going to be loud and noisy. Just a really nice place where you can call yourself second home. I guess give me some information on the stuff, the spirits, the wines, the beers, the stuff people like to order. And well, you have the choice of beer, draft beer, bar and beer. We have great wines from top, le top shelf to lower price ones. And of course, you know, we have great tapas, so you can eat uh, something small. We also have fresh tiki, of course, from Will, who comes now in here, and you see it's pretty popular here nowadays. Mio, and you can get some of Martin and Lucy's wine. Here. Oh, that's right. We carry Chrissy's wines and, and a few other choices from the Martin and Lucy group. Uh, yeah, your sister bar over there has quite a selection of wines. Come check them out at the Black Sheep Bistro out on the island. You can catch us on Facebook. Bye, y'all. Cheers.